Multi-solving means solving more than one problem with the same investment of time, money, and effort. In the context of climate change, multi-solving means changing lives for the better while protecting the climate. In a time of multiple intersecting crises, like climate change, biodiversity loss, inequity, food insecurity, multi-solving is ideal because it's frugal with limited resources. It's a way to bring together multiple sectors and constituencies to speak with a stronger voice, to align budgets and align priorities. Anyone can take part in multi-solving. It doesn't require fancy tools, no sophisticated apps for your phone. It requires listening. It requires collaboration. It requires caring about the problems that keep other people up at night as much as you care about the problems that you're most committed to and most passionate about addressing. The potential scale of the win-win-wins of multi-solving is truly huge, especially when you focus on all the urgent problems that could be solved as part of addressing climate change. For instance, fossil fuel air pollution was responsible for one in five deaths worldwide in 2018. That's 8 million deaths. If the world were to transition to clean energy for electricity, for transportation, for heating our homes, we could save 8 million lives every year. We'd also reduce the burden on healthcare systems. Less death, less chronic disease means more savings for the health sector. In fact, the health benefits far outweigh the costs of meeting climate change goals. That's according to the World Health Organization, who found that if the world was actually on track to meet the Paris Agreement goals for climate change, that the costs of the energy system's changes to accomplish that goal would be more than offset by the health sector benefits. So by reducing fossil fuel use, we can protect the climate for the long term and people's health in the short term. And solutions like these can have even more benefits if we're thoughtful and strategic about how we go about things. Take energy efficiency. Retrofitting homes to make them more energy efficient provides good jobs that can't be outsourced. Jobs for constituencies like youth or people in low wealth communities who need economic opportunity. Making homes more energy efficient makes utility bills lower. That saves money for people on a fixed income. It leaves more in their pocket for things like food and education and medicine. The health of people who live in homes that are more energy efficient also improves. Studies have shown that people, especially people with respiratory illnesses, um, have fewer visits to emergency rooms and less need for prescription medication as a result of home energy tune-ups. In fact, pilot experiments in places like the UK and New Zealand are even encouraging doctors to refer their patients for home energy retrofits. And it's not just energy efficiency where multi-solving shines. Think about making a community more walkable. That increases people's access to physical activity, to safe physical activity. That helps reduce chronic disease. It helps improve economic vitality of business districts where people are able to walk through at a walking pace instead of zooming through in their cars. It reduces greenhouse gas emissions from transportation and improves air quality. It reduces con traffic congestion. Here's another example, reducing food waste reduces greenhouse gas emissions from the agriculture sector while also improving food security. Greening the urban environment is multi-solving. It helps buildings stay cooler, reducing greenhouse gas emissions from air conditioning. It helps capture and slow stormwater, which helps reduce urban flooding. It helps combat the urban heat island effect, something that's going to be an increasing risk in an era of a warming climate and a risk that tends to hit hardest in the parts of cities that are the poorest and the most marginalized. Greening a city, of course, also makes it more beautiful and improves people's sense of health and well-being. And so on. You can imagine examples of your own where an action to reduce greenhouse gas emissions brings other benefits along with it while also improving equity. That's multi-solving. And whether you're a government official, a climate activist, a neighborhood leader, or a business person, you can get involved in multi-solving. The first step is asking how could success on a problem that you're passionate about help solve someone else's problem at the same time.